one, go. Welcome to the third qualification match here at the Tippecanoe Canoe Finn District event. For the first 15 seconds, it's all pre-programmed. The robots are moving based on what the students have already set for themselves. Each game piece score during this time is worth one more point than it will be in a few seconds. 829 placing two of those cargo up on their high end mid pieces of the grid, scoring extra points during autonomous. Remember, it doesn't matter where, it doesn't matter which piece is scored, it's where it's scored. The numbers are two, three, and five, depending on where it's scored in the grid. The higher they score, the more points they'll find for their team. 4926 Galactic placing a cone up on the high grid that will score them five points. Remember, the name of the game is Lynx. That's three game pieces in the same row. It doesn't matter what game pieces or where in the grid. They need five of those Lynx currently to get a ranking point. However, they can decrease that threshold by scoring in the cooperation area. 829 making use of their human player, grabbing a cone off off the field, which is a lot easier for some mechanisms. Team 8, 328, that's the Penn Golden Rooks on the far side of the field, picking up a cube for their Red, Alli Red Alliance. The Blue Alliance does not count them out yet. Plenty of points left in this match, about a minute remaining. Lots of robot on robot touch today. They're making their way across the field. They'll pick up their game piece in one corner and make their way across the field to the other corner to score their game piece. 74-7-7, hanging out in the center of the field, trying to cause as much chaos and prevent their opponents from scoring a defensive type approach for their team this weekend. 829 Digital Goats now with the cone making their way across the field. They're hoping to score that before they run out of time in today's match. About 30 seconds remaining. That train horde you sound indicates we're in the end game period. We'll start to see robots making their way towards their charge station. If it's balanced, they can gain extra points, but they're trying to fit as many robots on top of that tier totter as possible. Red Alliance going for two robots. They have about 10 seconds to balance their charge station. It's looking good so far. The Blue Alliance trying to match them. And their time has expired. That's the end of qualification match one here at Tippecanoe. Here are your scores for qualification match three. The winner is the Red Alliance. With a score of 122, beating out the Blue Alliance is 105. Lots of points made in the grid for that match.